Hey guys, welcome back to Max Payne 3. I hope this game allow me to start this chapter over because um last recording says no it did not oh my god ooh. oh okay all right ooh. oh okay <clears throat> pick it up oh, I wasn't okay. following a trail of her fingers. Give me, give me all your ammo. Give me all your ammo, man. I'm gonna piss off, man. There's no way to um, go back and restart the chapter because, like, we had a big storm a couple days ago. My power went out, corrupt the whole file. So you probably not gonna get to see the whole chapter of this video. No, it's this chapter, so uh, I would say, oh well. Uh. And then no way to like restart the chapter. Maybe. Oh no. Hey, hey, hey. Oh no, no. Okay. There's no way. Oh, painkiller. Malaria oh, tablets might have been more useful out there. This pistol. Who is this? Give me that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Should be good. Should be good. I had to keep <clears throat> on going across the docks. Uh huh. Talk to yourself. Talk to yourself. Oh! Ooh. I hit the jackpot. <laughs> I hit the jackpot with the old pain cuz. Three! Yeah! There they were. <clears throat> I had the feeling I'd been running one step behind ever since I got to this country. Okay. And maybe a few years before that as well. This game is, is pretty good. It's good. It's the best game ever, yo. The board time of this game? Oh my god. Second and none, the best. Cause that's another game that my, my buddy got me into. Um, I forgot what the name of it. Oh, they had um, 
take off. Look at that. He trying to. He trying to. Come get me. Oh. 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 I'm trying to do it stealthy though, but I try to do things stealthy though, but mm, whatever. Come on. Back to the bed. Oh, 
gonna be more painkillers, okay. One. Just one. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Alright. Man. Oh, there are more, more guys. Oh my god. Pissing me off! Good. Be oh my god! Oh! All right. Okay. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> okay. 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 We're gonna, we're gonna play hardball. Get that angle of mine. Soft, like, I can't even really start this mission right. over. What's going on? Where's they, Fabiana? They took her in a boat. That way. Straight ahead. Okay, okay, don't worry. Hang on. Boy, did I need to hang on. The whole operation was slipping out of our grip. 
I was an overconfident chump who'd gone into the jungle alone. Shit! More company! Uh oh! Oh, 
slipped through my fingers for a second time. Another habit I didn't want or need. It was close. We almost had her. Damn. I don't think we ever had much of a chance. No one told us they had an entire goddamn army. I don't think anybody knew. Crazy shit. Yeah. It's all crazy, pal. Non-stop insanity. Thought I left all this shit behind. Easy gig, you said. What a fool I was to get involved in this madness. I was thinking I'm about to charge my phone. But that should be good, though. Um, and I am trying a new woman on, my ch on this channel. A new talking segment called Windows No Techno. Tune in. So, it is part one complete. Thank y'all. It's all we man. I wish I could have a taste of alcohol. No, never. I like a little bit. My ex, my ex girlfriend. Um. Had me try to drink a couple like um, tequila and whiskey. Um, it's pretty tasty though. Get up, bro. But, mm. Max, wake up, Max. Thank you. Jim. Come on, get up, you big bastard. Come on. Up. <laughs> yeah. You don't look up. Yeah. Come on. Second, will ya? Really not feeling too good. <clears throat> Hey, Max, what is it with you in interior design? Huh? You, you really know how to give a place a great lived-in feel, huh? It's just beautiful. Barefoot. Fuck off with the fucking wisecracks. Really, I'm not in the mood. It's hot. Okay, sorry, bro. You've been the last couple Boss days. Boss wants to see us, so let's go, come on. Come on, Matt. Time to rescue. Take your time, man. Fucking unbelievable. Jesus. I heard that. Chapter 6 
Oh, oh, I love this mission. I like this mission though. Bon dia. Ela se estava aí? O que que senhor acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, não? You fucking pair of clowns! I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save. I, I, I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy. Is that a good reason to hate us? I do a lot of good in this town. A lot. This is hell for me. Man, shut up. <laughs> I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. But it feels like nothing good can come from living in Sao Paulo right now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Senor Branco. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Becker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. Yeah, it was humiliating and embarrassing for sure. But now this is different. This is the end for what she's not dead. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it. If you do as I ask. <clears throat> Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you. But things will get better. For all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, pasos in my helicopter. This way. Sure. Mr. Becker? Senor? Let us give you a ride. Bom. Até logo, senor Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Até logo, Sr. Branco. Thank you, you short. <laughs> I had so many plans, Max. Yeah, watch out for him. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. I, mean, I, talk I to never you. trust trust people. Now my wife. They always sub 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 Tem uma ligação para o senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva. Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. <coughs> Sim. Another bent cop wanting a pension contribution. Do you think <coughs> a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? Look at me. I'm a mess. O que está acontecendo? Meu Deus! Oh. Sim, pode entrar! Senhor, qual é o O sistema de segurança foi desativado. I can see that. Oh. We got men entering the building and the office won't lock down. É, tô. Posso? Claro que pode. It's not working. Uh, there's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars and you expect to, to push a button to, to be able to, to make all your problems go away. That was some useless junk and a bit of false confidence. I'm done, Max. Sir, let us handle this. You stay in your oh office and lock no, yourself in. Do not enter the door user, unless man. you know it's me. Let's go. I bet you know you know. Just get to the server room. Room. Put, What's put going put some on? Don't worry about it. Everything's Boom. fine. Get down behind the desk now, both of you. I wish we, we could. We both. Oh! Dang! They just jumped. Just have you jump right into action. Why I hate this game.
now, both of you. You're not gonna like freaking. I am taking cover. I am taking cover. Get up. Get up. server room let's go I say back po back poach take cover <laughs> take cover let's go come on okay I'm coming come on my god the real security guards had been run off paid off or bumped off that left us it wasn't a fantastically comforting thought this code should get us into the boardroom okay to see the security system is keeping the right people out. Oh, oh shit! a lot shinier than a favela and rent would be easier to collect maybe bronco would take pity on all the poor bastards who got evicted i just had to keep him alive to find out let's do this together let's do this together okay. the <clears throat> just passed those cubicles These clowns were the same guns for hire who jumped our exchange at the stadium. Cracha Prado, the black badge. Right wing mm -hmm. paramilitary chumps protecting whoever paid <clears throat> the most. I guess that made them more like me than I cared to admit. Were they just looking for another payday or did their business with the Broncos run deeper? <sighs> Oh my god. I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, no! Ooh, wait there! Wait, no! Turn around! What? Wait! Uh -huh. Oh, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Oh. Help me, Lord. My lordy. My lordy! Out. I am taking you out. Ooh. 
kurde. No kurde. server back online. <sighs> Can we just spend a few more minutes? Make sure they're all gone? Come on, don't worry. I got your back. Poor kid was scared shitless. But I thought we'd seen the worst of it. Okay. Thank you, yeah, Lord. The <laughs> just down here. Oh. We're doing good. Come on. Hey, I just... I didn't think I'd have a day like this when I wake up in the mornings. <laughs> Wish I could say the same thing. Fact was, I'd gotten used to protecting Bronco in the big bad world. We hadn't anticipated a siege situation here. Hadn't prepared for it. I couldn't tell the kid that. Ooh. Something told me these guys didn't have security clearance. Yeah, man. Oh, it off. It's me. My 
my god. Oh my god! Empty a whole clip. Empty a whole clip. Give me that. Come on, move. <sighs> You're gonna be able to fix this or what? In a few minutes, eh? You should be able to reboot the <laughs> system, get all the components back online. What about Bronco's office? That's all I care about. You should be able to lock us down, eh? If this works. Uh, whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building uh, and get back to Rodrigo's. Very stressful. The security system was back online. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. It seemed like breaching the perimeter had been no more difficult than strolling through the front gates. But hey, who needs a Trojan horse when the alarm is down and your standing army is a dame, a dork, and a drunk? Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. Max! Your guy's working on the security system now, sir. It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay put. Let us take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max, try not to completely destroy the place. Let's just concentrate <laughs> on staying alive. <laughs> Sir! Can we destroy the place? <laughs> I think the place had there been destroyed. Went. He was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building for what that was <clears> worth. <sighs> hmm, graduation shots of Rodrigo, Victor, and Marcelo, educated at rich kid finishing schools all over Europe. No wonder they have the common touch. <sighs> Poor girl was dead. Shot through the head by some hero fighting the rich one lonely secretary at a time.
like we'd seen the worst of it. The elevator would take me back up to Rodrigo's office where we could wait the rest of it out. Elevators. <laughs> well, I said the elevator is still awake. I didn't know what the hell I was going to find up there, but I sensed it wasn't going to be a stripper bursting out of a cake. Senor Branco! Senor Branco! I can't get through to him. Ever since the security door is triggered, <clears throat> he hasn't made a sound. Rodrigo, it's Max. Open up. Can you hear me? Eu já tentei. Senhor Bronco, open up! I'm gonna try to get in there from the roof. You find the security guard and get the hell out of here. Yes. I knew yes. there was another way in upstairs for the helipad. The little luxury runaround that kept the rich looking down on the poor literally as well as metaphorically. He was dead. Clean, one shot, a professional job. I began to look for clues. I couldn't get playback on one of the cameras and it looked like the disc was missing. Someone in this building was trying to keep things low key. But then why had everyone else come driving through the goddamn wall? Fabiana. Even if the man who employed me was dead, his wife was still out there. Maybe she could be saved. Maybe some good... Ah. Picking the photo from the broken fragments, something caught my eye. Figures. Blind luck, it meant the blast wasn't fatal. If I'd been out for any longer, the smoke would have gotten me. to death. Look at me. I've been contracted to protect two people. One was being held in some hole. The other was sitting at his desk with a bullet in his head. And the company that had its logo on my paycheck was melting on top of my head. There's no way one bomb could have done all this, unless the place was made of gasoline. This whole joint must have been rigged. The kid hadn't made it. Fuck. I had to make this corpse-looting coward pay. Getting his gun was more than just expediency. I 
I was in no state to save his body from the flames. I hadn't saved him from the gunman either. I'm sorry, kid. Should have shot himself and ended the pain. I must say, so hey, Give me the ammo. <laughs> this didn't look like a room where Rodrigo closed multi-million dollar deals. It looked like a fiery hellhole. Oh, oh. Oh, in the mouth. Boom, boom, in the mouth. <laughs> the only way Everybody out was to use that up? filing cabinet. So much for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trick would be a high wire act with a fiery pit for a safety net. It was yeah. nice that no one was shooting at me for a change, but I'd take shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day of the goddamn week. So did you see the silver lining? Every time, man. Lay in my butt. <laughs> hey, the last time I'm gonna be seeing me in my butt. <laughs> Someone up ahead was hurt pretty Painful. bad. If he didn't die before I got to him, I might get some answers. Hey. Hey. Don't you die. Who sent you? I said, who sent you? Hey. Why? Why Rodrigo Bronco? Why? What? Why did you come to kill Rodrigo Bronco? He came to kill you. Because what you did to us. You killed so many of us. What reason did this poor bastard have to lie? He would be dead from shock or loss of blood in half an hour. Even if I didn't leave him there to burn. Where is Fabiana? What? Fabiana Bronco, where is she? The Commando Sombra got her up the hill. Then it was up the hill for me, I guess, where the gang held sway. I had to try to figure out who was using these angry paramilitary clowns as some kind of front to kill Rodrigo. Rodrigo Bronco was dead. Fabiana was held hostage. I had no idea who was behind any of this. I felt like a fool. I was a sweaty, gray-haired mess. This place, well, 
This place was going to kill me, too. I could see that now. I decided that I was going to die sober, not drunk. <laughs> At least then I would see who shot me. It was time to take back control from whoever was out to get me. And if I didn't flush them out, at least my midlife crisis would confuse them enough so they did something stupid. It was the only hope I had. I knew I wasn't thinking straight. I'd been drinking and popping painkillers for years. I had a liver like a French goose and skin like red leather. in the right direction. did not know this. We are lost, Max. Our brother was everything to us. I understand. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry about your loss. Both of you. Rodrigo was a good man. I failed him. I, but I was tricked. What happened, Max? I don't know. Some guys from the crush of Prado came into the building downstairs, so while me and the security guard were dealing with them, an assassin must have come in and executed your brother. I, at least that's how I think it happened. No, you killed him, Poha. You killed my brother. What are you talking about? I, I understand you're upset, but please, why the hell would I do that? To get his money, to take his money. How am I getting his money, Marcelo? Please, think. I worked my ass off for your family. I saved your life twice or more. Right now, I'm going to get Fabiana. Where is she? Where is Fabiana, eh? She's in a place called Nova Esperanza. How do you know this, Max? One of the crotch of Prado told me just before he died. Please, bring our sister-in-law back to us, Max. Our family is being torn apart. So I guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bit people try to ignore. The unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow, like rich fools the world over. I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew 